Alrighty, let's watch this in full here. There's no sound. We have that, this, and then the last one going to the chair. And done. And you provided a reference with that. It is all cut together. I think it's cool. You are asking in the email how to make this more interesting. It's a fun game idea. So things that I like, stuff like that. Whoops. This. That. That type of stuff. The sliding. The change. Whoa. The, the movement with, with uh, her arms. So in terms of what you have here, it's less rotoscopy and, and trying things. A, what I would do is I would probably start here take a little step and go over only because as you go forward here that's not the best silhouette you're covering both legs and and everything's very straight on so anything you can do to you might even just take this away and put the bed over here to something smaller maybe just not twin maybe it's just like a smaller thing that's why he has to go over there that's my awesome drawing to get more of a nice line of action and the silhouette for this well, then you can always put his hand here to to for balance to stop and then to add interest i mean you could do something where this is wobbly or just the base and then the tabletop breaks and so it's overall wobblier that could some be something that you do um to make this less safe here you could have moments where you have little like overall bubbles bubbles of lava and fire so when he's done here whoa and has his hand out and is maybe almost leaning over that maybe here a bubble <laughs> comes up and has to go you know kind of go to the side and just i would find elements that deviate from the reference so that you can push that a bit further and add some more moments of pantomime and thought process and reacting to things again mechanics wise could be interesting to throw that little wobble there could also be something where a bubble and then this catches fire. It doesn't have to be you no know, crazy simulator, just a couple spheres, red, and it grows, and that you know prompts him to go like, ah, I need to get out of here. There's fire, and it starts to tip here because there's more weight there and less of the table, and that really forces him to jump, which makes the jump messier. And you mentioned that you want it to be clumsier here, and so then that would explain the clumsiness of that into this um and that's that i'm not really worried about the animation it seems like you have a really good grasp on things and the posing and the timing there's nothing really that sends out we go whoa this is horribly wrong so for me it would be more just the ideas like you mentioned in the email where we can more talk about the foundations and what you could do and i think that's that let me know what you think about those ideas and what you know what you're open to change and and your thoughts on it overall. All right, thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.